Hi and welcome to the subscription members system site template for mobilized sites which you can customize to make uh, you into your own site and it already has the member system included so let's see how it works so first of all let's have a look what happens when a member registers so they go to the registration form they enter their name and their email address and they can enter their website and Facebook if they wish uh, the country they live in they pick a user ID and a password and then they can select either monthly quarterly or annual payments and you can switch any of those options on or off uh, in the admin control panel and you can also change the amounts per month we'll come to that shortly uh, then they click to accept the terms and then they create their account so the application is processing and then they get transferred to the PayPal gateway to set up the subscription everything is done automatically you don't have to do anything there um, uh, everything is created for you um, so there we go the monthly subscription uh, 150 a month um, log in and set it up so they log into PayPal and then that just confirms their payments and tells them all about it and how that they will take their money every month so then you, they agree to pay so my PayPal sandbox is, the sandbox is a little bit slow so then they get confirmation that's been paid and they get transferred back to your site and then they get the thank you message to say that the subscription is now set up in PayPal and that they can cancel at any time by uh, via PayPal or by contacting the site owner and then it gives them a login link so they can now log in to their account okay so now in the meantime um, the IPN the instant payment notification processor is accepting data from PayPal um, to tell them that the subscription has been set up and uh, and all the details of the transaction and that's being processed by a background uh, page on your server which is live 24 hours a day and it will receive payments from PayPal concerning that customers subscription and each month it will also receive the information of when that's received the payment and it will either enable or disable the account if the payment is not successful or the uh, member has cancelled their subscription or you've cancelled the subscription for the member so we should have now received an email to confirm our account which has been processed by the IPN if the IPN can't get through the first time to your server it will try again a few minutes later and then if it can't get through again it will try a little bit later and each time extending the time that it tries and it will try up to 15 times to communicate with your IPN and if it eventually doesn't communicate within 15 times then it will give up so we've now got our uh, email from the I uh, processed by the IPN and as you can see it says thank you for your payment your subscription is successful and it gives them the login link and thank you for being a member okay so their account is all now set up so now if we look at the uh, admin and we will see let's log in Okay, now we'll go to admin. Okay, so now if we look at the members, you can see the one we've just uh, set up. Uh, here we are. Is showing all the details we just the uh, user entered. The account is now active, so the IPN has made it active, 
and also it's confirmed that the PayPal is complete and the user subscribed monthly um, at £1.50. The last transaction ID in PayPal was that and the subscriber ID that's been set up in PayPal is that. That information has all come back from the IPN. Okay, so everything is set up. Now if at later date the IPN gets a message from PayPal to say that a subscription wasn't paid um, or that the user has cancelled their subscription then the this will update to either refunded reversed if you've refunded the payment um, denied if uh, PayPal sent back a denied message failed cancelled or expired um, so and once that's changed that will also change the status here to inactive so we can uh, try that by going to our Sam, uh, PayPal account um, so obviously we're using Sandbox to test this but it will be the same in a live situation so we'll log into our PayPal account this is the person that did the subscription so either the person that set up the subscription or you as the uh, person they subscribe to can go in and cancel their subscription so if we go to uh, let's see go to overview of all transactions Oh, there we go recurring payment if we go to the details of that payment that's the one we've just set up okay so there's our payment um, so they go to their pre-approved payments and then in PayPal they can look at the transaction and they can cancel it so there's their transaction repayment of 150 indefinitely a monthly subscription to movie rise and their reference number is here somewhere too um, so there it is there's the reference number that or the subscriber number so if they then cancel it so they've now cancelled their subscription in uh, PayPal so the IPN from PayPal will now communicate with our back-end uh, IPN and it should update this now if we just refresh the page it's now received the uh, details from PayPal to say that they have cancelled their subscription so it's cancelled in our subscription system and it's made the account inactive so they can no longer log in so it's pretty instant so as soon as they cancel their um, account is closed so they cannot use it anymore um, and then if we now just go back to the top of the admin you'll see you can also add a member if you wish and bypass the um, PayPal um, so you can add the member here and then once you've made them a member you can then make them active in here so that uh, they can use the system without having to pay um, so there's that option as well and then in the system settings you'll see here now you can switch off the monthly so now monthly is switched off so in the registration if we open that in a new tab on the registration page you will now see that monthly is no longer an option um, you can switch off the quarterly so if we go there now and just refresh the page quarterly is now no longer an option they can only select annual payments um, and you can switch off annual but obviously that 
Because we've now switched all three off, it will say that's a bit silly because nobody can subscribe to your members. You need to switch at least one on. So if we switch on, we'll switch them all back on again. So they can choose, I oh, missed that one. So we can, they can now choose the three. And you can change the amounts. So if you want to have it uh, £3.50 for a month, you'll now see that our subscriptions or three should be back and it's now 350 a month instead of 150 a month okay let's put it back to 150 for our demo okay so then you can also change the email address to send emails from you can change the header for the emails um, the PayPal live email um, that's uh, the, the email address to receive payments when you go live uh, the sandbox email address if you've got a sandbox account in PayPal so you can do your testing then you can enter this the sandbox email address there you select the currency to use depending on what your account is set up with and obviously the currency you pick must be one that's set up in your PayPal account you can select any of the PayPal currencies. Um, the currency symbol um, that you want to use, so like the pound, the euro or the dollar, and you must enter that uh, in the, as the HTML code, so like and pound. Um, and then that will actually display then as a pound sign. Then you can set the status of the system, so whether we're currently in sandbox, sandbox mode or live mode, so you don't have to do anything about changing any URLs. This, the system will do it all for you once you select Sandbox or Live. And whether you want to switch on or off registrations. If you switch off registrations, then they won't be able to register on the registration page. So if you've got all the members you want for the time being, there we go, registrations are disabled at present. Okay, so that's all the admin whoops go back uh, that's all the admin facilities so we'll switch registrations back on here for a minute and the members areas that that works exactly the same as uh, the non-subscription members area um, if they're logged in they will be able to view the content and also they can change their password um, as you can see there uh, and it also tells them how they've subscribed as we're logged in as admin obviously we haven't subscribed so normally that would say that you're subscribed with monthly payments of 150 via PayPal and that will give them their subscriber ID at the top of that page as well um, so well, oops. so you'd have your main page there then you can have as many members pages as you wish like members news uh, members offers and so on and so forth um, and if they're logged out of course then they can't see the members content they can they will just get a message to say they need to be a member okay so that's the actual system and how it works and coming up soon in the second video which will be how to install the system